guys, how's it going? We just got done with an incredible two-day gardening event that happened this past weekend. It was called the Garden Answer Groupie Field Trip, which was put together by a group of ladies who've been following our videos for quite a long time. And I mentioned it before in a couple other videos. Um, so there were 60 tickets sold and everyone came to my hometown just to check it out, to tour the garden center. We opened our garden, my parents opened their garden. We did a service project. And in this video, I wanna show you some of what we did that weekend. Now I do want to apologize. I tried to film as much as I could, but I really wanted to be present during this event. I wanted to get to know the people that came and they were a wonderful, like incredible group of friends, people I now consider my friends um, that came. And so I just really wanted to be there and just get to know them. So anyway, the first thing that we're gonna show you um, was me in the back hallway right before I was introduced the very first morning. So we're about ready to go in. We're in the old seat bagging room down here at the garden center. Somebody's talking. I think they're gonna introduce us in a second. session is over uh, they asked a lot of really good questions some that I didn't have an answer to but most of them I felt like we had some pretty good answers to yeah, really so now well. the second group is uh, pouring in right now we're gonna do another Q&A and while these Q&A's are going on so they're in two different groups the other group is getting a tour of Andrew's Garden Center with my parents and I bet they're having a really fun time yeah. with that warehouse really quick where the second class is going to be taking place and they are making some resin paperweight so I just wanted to show you some of the supplies that they've got out here so these are the molds right here and I think they're about a three inch diameter and then the wood skewers which will help everybody push the straw flowers down into each one of the molds and this is kind of modeled after our paperweight video that we did not that long ago First of all, look at this wall full of beautiful stuff. All of their gold leaf pots, a bunch of succulent boxes. You can see the resin right here. These are the resin paper whites that they made. I'm gonna try to pop one out so you guys can see. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't that neat? The straw flowers and each one of them, I think these are all labeled so I need to make sure to get it back in the proper hole here. So here are a few of the succulent boxes. I'll pop over to the other side over there and show you the others here in a second. But the succulent source um, actually sent a bunch of these cuttings and gave us an amazing deal and said that they wanted us to use the rest of the budget that we had allotted for succulents and to give to Project Dove for that service project which was just really, really lovely of them. And Proven Winners um, sent a bunch of Sonic Bloom pink Wygillas. Um, so they're just a beautiful, I was trying to find one with blooms. There was a few that had blooms on them. Little shrub here that everyone gets to take home. Uh, there's a few blooms right here. They're not quite open yet. Well, one of them's open. Focus. Just a really sweet, easy to grow shrub. Aaron and I are gonna run home and do some last minute primping in our garden. Well, everyone just showed up for the tour and it just started to rain. So we're gonna pile in. I know, me too. <laughs> Project Dove, and this was the part of the field trip event that I was most excited for. We have 62 seasoned gardeners down here transforming this space, making it a, a haven and more of a healing place, a place for kids to play. Um, so over in this area right here, we've got a group of people taking out sod and we're gonna be putting in a play set right there in that corner. And then there's a group of people uh, removing weeds in front of the house so that we can landscape the whole area. There's gonna be pots by every door with some color. Uh, we're running drip irrigation so that it's not a ton of work for anybody. And then if we go across the way here, um, that's where the vegetable garden is going and I'm so excited about that. Raised beds and everything. Let's head that direction. 
Okay, so you can see right here they've already trenched and they're running some drip irrigation from this hose bib at the house. And then right in this area here, there's going to be a picket fence with gravel and raised beds, vegetables. Look at this great group of people. So many people have come together for this event. I mean, even a lot of you guys donated. We did a video a few weeks ago telling you about this project and uh, we set up a GoFundMe and a lot of you gave money so we were able to do more things, um, which makes this even more fun. Um, a lot of our people that we partner with also donated a lot of stuff. Espoma donated soil, Gardener Supply donated tomato cages and raised beds and some other planters. Um, Proven Winners donated fertilizer and plants. I mean, it's just, Amazing. So it looks like they've got the area staked off. There's uh, four stakes here. There's one there. And then these are the cedar raised beds from Gardener Supply that they're putting together. So I'm gonna run to the front of the house really quick because I think there's something going on there as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna see where I am needed the most. I'm thinking maybe lifting sod. I'm gonna get in there and see if they need some help. got done. I'm at Project Dev now. We had to rush away so quick the day of the service project because there were other things that we had to do um, that I wasn't able to show you all the finished projects and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of everything that went in and I'm so proud of all the people who came down and helped out and donated. A big portion of the ticket sales went to fund projects in here but we also have a lot of partners that we work with that sent things that we could use in this project. Um, there's also a conference room full of stuff that the people attending the event and some of you guys sent. There's diapers and wipes and food and cleaning products, tons of kids books and games. A company um, called Analon even sent a bunch of sets of cookware and bakeware and knife sets so that they could outfit some of the residences that are here. It's just been an incredible experience for me and incredibly humble, humbling, I'm super thankful. Um, so there were four teams of people down here working on different projects and it was so efficient. Um, the gal who kind of ran the whole thing, her name's Laura Parker, and she was amazing at just making sure everything got done, the details were handled. Um, this is the area that I was most involved in. So there was a team of people who came in, cleared out this whole area. There were weeds, there were cords, like cape, old cable cords hanging down. So it was cleaned up. I came in and ran a drip system, so it's all low maintenance. Nobody has to come out here and water a thing. Although, Hoselink sent a couple of their retractable hose reels for the two bibs on the two homes. Um, and I have one of these in my greenhouse and I love it. It makes watering a lot easier. So we got those installed. Um, we've got in the back here, blue muffin viburnums from Proven Winners. There are blue daddy hostas, which get huge. We had a few impatience left over from some containers we planted up, which I'll show you, but we thought it'd be nice to have a little pop of color in here. And then a huge drift of Hakanakloa Japanese forest grass right in the front. All of these are very low maintenance plants. We wanted it to be pretty and, and peaceful to look at, but not something that was gonna create a lot of work. Um, if we walk this way, you can see the stairways here. All of the stairways to the homes were scrubbed clean and repainted so that they all look really fresh and clean. We put containers by every door which have drip run to them. So again, low maintenance, nobody has to be watering them. Um, really pretty shade plants in these containers. And then we had a few annuals to pop in on this side, which will grow and fill in and be some nice color. Right in front, front of me is one of the really, really fun things I love. This children's play set was put together 
in the course of about four hours. And I don't know how they got it done because these, these are difficult, but you know, many hands make light work and they made it look really easy. Um, so this whole area was just grass. A company in town called Pro Rental donated one of their sod cutters and we were able to lift all the sod, get it moved out. They got it done so fast. I wish I had a team like that at my house when I needed to do projects like that. But they installed some uh, kind of this, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like a mulch look edging and finished it with wood chips so that it didn't get too hot in the summertime. And there is landscape fabric under this whole area um, just to keep weeds from coming up and have it, you know, weeds take over really quick if you don't do that. Um, they also planted a Redmond Linden tree. These grow about 35 by 25, so it'll eventually cast some really nice shade on this area. Um, and then this is a water bag. You fill with water around the tree and then it slowly emits water to the root ball. However, there is drip run to each one of the plants that we planted in this area. So even if this wasn't here, we wanted to make sure that every plant could survive without having to be cared for by a person very much. Um, a couple of benches right here. And the crew was at our house the day before the event started. Um, getting these all painted and ready to go, but there was a team here assembling them and they wanted to do them in nice bright colors to make them really fun for the kid area. On this side of the residence, there are a couple other pots. These get a lot more sun in the afternoon than the other pair. So we've got some sun loving plants in here. Both of these are on drip as well. And then we just popped a bunch of fun color. There's some annuals, there's some phlox, there's a hibiscus, and then uh, we top dressed everything with mulch. So now I want to head to the other residence and show you everything else. So this is where we planted another shade tree. This is also a Redmond Linden with some pretty flowers around it and it also has drip system run to it. And this, I'm not sure what the technical name is for it, but it's essentially like a sandbox, but without sand, it's gravel instead so that the cats weren't attracted to it. It stayed nice and clean. Um, bunch of tractors and trucks and stuff. Benjamin would love this area. This right here I thought was especially cute. This little racetrack with the cars. And there's also some fresh gravel that they brought in um, just to make this area nice and kind of spiffed up. Um, we also installed a picnic table and umbrella so families could sit out here and eat together. We have some neighbor dogs creating some nice ambiance at the moment. Um, but over here, we've got a hopscotch, nice and bright. And then we've got several containers full of flowers and another bench. And then let's go around the other side of the house and check out the vegetable garden. Also, this is where the other hose link is right here so that they can pull the hose right out to the vegetable garden. And this I love, you guys. This one was a huge project. Um, it was all just kind of like this. There was just kind of grass and a little bit of weeds. They cleared out the area. Um, we had a guy that helps us with all of our gravel from Steve's backhoe service here in town. His name is Chad and he came down on a Saturday on his day off to deliver gravel. He helped us um, spread it all out and it was just an amazing, like everybody just came together for this. This whole fence was installed in a morning um, and all of this had to be put together. Uh, so there was a team on that. Gardener Supply sent out these gorgeous cedar raised beds with the nice corners to make it really easy to put together. Um, they also sent out some tomato frames where we planted, um, there's cherry tomatoes, there's garden gem and garden treasure tomatoes from Proven Winners. We've got the buried treasure red strawberries from Proven Winners as well as some amazel basil. There's also bell peppers, onions, uh, squash. It's just a really fun, tidy area and there's drip run to all of these as well. Up here in the front of the facility, Henry Studio sent out two Capri 2 planters. So these are nice, heavy concrete. Nobody can come and walk away with these very easily anyway. And we just filled them full of beautiful, sun-loving annuals. These pots are also on drip system, so nobody has to come out here except to fertilize. So if we go in here to the courtyard, there's a couple other really awesome things. So this is a brand new table and chair set with the umbrella to create just a nice sitting area that's comfortable. There's a container that we filled up with some really pretty annuals. And then Henry Studio also sent out this Tree of Life fountain, which is amazing. There is a very busy road that runs next to this facility. So to hear the water in here that kind of drowns out the car sound is amazing. This one also has a light inside. So at night, the light beams up onto the tree where the water comes out and it just creates this beautiful glow. Um, so this whole area had to be cleared out, a, level, a layer of gravel had to be laid, and then of course the pavers had to be all leveled out 
so that this fountain would stay put. So anyway, a huge thank you to Henry Studio for sending out these pieces. And I do think I forgot to mention that Espoma sent out all the potting soil for all of the containers. And we will link, everybody who sent stuff for this project, we'll link them down below so you can go learn more about them. And I would encourage you to go check out their websites and see what they have to offer. So the service project at Project Dev was my absolute favorite part of the whole weekend. It was just such an eye-opening experience for me. It was so fun to work together with so many wonderful people, getting to know them and making new friends. That's why I wanted to spend some time down there, just showing you guys all the stuff that was done because I just felt like it was so amazing. And in addition to the service project, there were so many other things that we did. There were also some kind of educational classes. My mom and I taught one. There were some master gardeners there, a beekeeper, Marshall Dirks from Proven Winners Flu, in and uh, taught a class uh, so it was really neat to see everybody come together and everybody got to kind of filter through all the classes and hopefully learn something new and in addition to all of that Aaron and I and my parents opened up our personal gardens for tours which was a a really interesting experience for me because I've seen my parents put their gardens on tours before but I've never personally done it with my own private garden uh, and so I learned a lot. I learned um, about one how much work it is because you want to make sure that it's a really fun experience that there are new things for everybody to see especially when we're sharing so much on video already. I made sure to plant up a few different areas that we haven't shown anybody yet so there were a, like a couple surprise areas um, some things that nobody had ever seen before and we will have have um, some videos out about those spaces here really soon. It was so much fun though having people here. Everyone seemed to really enjoy themselves. My parents have a 30 year old very established terraced garden so it's a very different feel from what we have here. Our garden is flat. We're in the process of a lot of different projects. You know we've ripped out so much and we're starting with brand new things. So I think that you can learn something from looking at either one of the gardens. Um, so it was really fun to hear everybody's take on that because for us who live in the gardens sometimes it's hard to see some of those things that everybody else sees. But I had to laugh afterward because there were some things that I hope people didn't see like the diaper genie sitting out on our balcony patio that I forgot to put away as well as like rags I was using to clean off outdoor furniture. I left a big Amazon box up on the front porch, forgot to put succulent arrangements out where I wanted to. <laughs> just all those things, you know, they just get kind of lost and honestly, they don't even matter really. Um, and that kind of is what the service project did for me. It was such a good perspective changer because when you get together to do something like that and give back to people who need it, it makes all the other stuff like seem so insignificant. So now I just wanna say a few thank yous to people who made this event so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed, those of you who weren't able to be here enjoyed seeing all of the things that we did. And it might be something that we can make an annual event. We are not sure yet, um, but we'll be sure to let you know ASAP when we figure out what we are going to do in the future. A huge thank you to Laura Parker for heading up this whole event. I couldn't imagine it having gone any more smooth and beautiful and wonderful than it did. To the committee members, Linda, Kelsey, Christy, and Morgan Christie's daughter, and Shelly, and Chris, Laura's husband, all of you guys worked so, so hard, and everything went so well, so thank you so much. To my father-in-law, he set up all of the AV equipment, the big TV, the mics, all, all the audio stuff, to where everybody in the crowd during the classes were um, able to hear and see what was going on. To my sister-in-law and mother-in-law for watching Benjamin the two days that we were so busy. I mean, I just couldn't have done it without you. And to everybody who came, thank you so much. I almost feel like a little bit like sad in a nostalgic way today. I'm kind of reflecting back on the weekend because I kind of wish it was still going. Like I wish that I was still able to hang out with you guys. It was just such a fulfilling experience for me. And to all of you who watch our videos and supported the project or just support us by watching videos, Thank you so, so much. So that's it, you guys. That was the Garden Answer Groupie field trip. Hope you enjoyed watching it. We will see you in the next video. Bye.